Alright, so today we are playing Pirates All Aboard uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Let's get into it. I played this a little bit beforehand, and it's so bare bones, it's pretty bad. There's only three modes. Practice mode, local multiplayer, and endless mode. This mode is pretty much exactly as it sounds. You pick a boat. There's only three to choose from. Ranging from powerful and slow to more balanced to the small and fast ship. There are also a few power-ups to pick up. But it mm, doesn't really make the game any more fun. So essentially you're just in this small circular area of the uh, of a map and uh, the arrows are other ships and you have to go kill them for five minutes or so and that's about it. So we'll do a round of this until I die or five minutes is up. But yep, pretty much go around, shoot other boats to score points that literally mean nothing because you don't use the points for anything besides a leaderboard and since there is no online uh, what's the point of the leaderboard so you can just beat your own score so as you can see we've already run into the edge of the map you cannot go beyond that red circle drive by here and I, I just love how the AI can just turn their boat so quickly it makes it really uh, hard to predict what they're gonna do if they can just pull a u-turn just like that obviously you can't do that you can slow down a bit to turn but you ain't pulling full-on uh, u-turns like they are so after you kill a ship, they leave some life. You grab some life, other power-ups, like the cannonball one that I kind of just passed is to boost your attack. Let's go back and grab that, actually. See, this is me trying to do a U-turn. <laughs> and look at it. Did you just see him completely flip that boat around? Like, it's nothing. Come on. For some reason, I don't know if it's because the health was low, if that actually matters in this game, but the joystick kept sticking to one side. It wouldn't let me turn back like it would stick for a few seconds uh, it didn't do that when I was in portable mode so I don't know if it's because I was uh, using the other control I don't know oh no By the way, there is no penalty going outside the red. All you do is you pretty much hit a wall and you drag yourself along the border of the circle. So I just picked up a ram power-up 
Uh, you press the left stick in to use the powers. But if I try to ram this guy right now, I'm going to die. But let's give it a go. And, oh, oh, he missed. Oh, and there's death. So that's the practice mode. That's pretty much all you do. Got a bunch of score. Literally means nothing because you can't upgrade your ship. There's no cosmetics. There's literally nothing. No point. But just to show you some differences in the boats, let's try the small one here. So the little boat, you can actually use barrels to shoot behind you. Not shoot, but lay behind you, and if they run into it, then it does some pretty good damage. See? And you can only shoot, for some reason in this one, you can only shoot out the front two cannonballs, so... You gotta use your mobility and just kind of get behind the boats and uh, just kind of pick them off. The main problem though is even if you're tailing them, they do this cre the, the 180 move, it's just ridiculous. Like that. I mean, come on. Hit it. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh. Freaking 180s. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, what? Come on. All right. I'm. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole mode. That's it. So let's get into the other two modes. So multiplayer, you can do last man standing up to four players and deathmatch up to four players. player so let's get into the endless mode real quick we'll switch up the controller input we'll try using the single controller for this time endless mode yeah you move left and right Collect coins to beat your own high score. Whee! And this is it. You just go through obstacles, collecting coins. And it just slowly goes faster. Sadly, this is the funnest mode of the game. Even though there's still no reason to play it. Because the coins do nothing. Besides give you points. You say can't upgrade a ship. Can't.
my cosmetics. Nothing. I know you probably can't tell from the video, but that little thumb stick, the, the sticking that I was that I mentioned earlier, gets really bad in this mode as well. Like I said, I didn't experience this in the portable mode, so I don't know if it's just some controller lag with it not being plugged in. I don't know but it's kind of hard navigating these tight places when the controller is doing its own thing. Like that. <laughs> so, that's about it. And see, no point, no use of the coins, nothing. So let's get some co-op action in here. Well, head to head. Choose map. <laughs> Such creative names. We got small map one through three and big map one through three. Whoa. No other parameters. You can't set. How many kills wins? Literally just kill each other back and forth until you get bored. Which won't take long. destroyed <laughs> and as you can see in the player two side you just run into an invisible wall So yeah, uh, save your money. Don't uh, don't don't buy this game. I thought it was at least going to be a bit more like uh, what was it, Sid Meier's? Pirates, you know. 
but uh, <laughs> it is far from it. There's no finish. We need an esports announcer in here because this is riveting. I'm just gonna give it. I'm just gonna call it quits because this could literally go on forever, and I'm already extremely bored of it. But yeah, that's it. I mean, that's the entire game. Done. Was this video 19 minutes? And I probably could have shown everything to you in less. So yeah, save your money. Don't bother buying this game. And I'll leave you with a little bit of endless mode while I take my leave on the mic.